Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. Good morning, grade one. How are you all? I hope all of you are doing well. Welcome again to a new Islamic session. Today, inshallah, my dear students, grade one, we will go back together to unit five, lesson one, to study this lesson about. I love the creatures of my Lord. You can find this lesson in page number 84. So, let's start. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. And let us recite the dua together. Rabbi Shrahli Sadri, Wayasir Li Amri, Wahlul Uqdatan Min Lithani. يَفْقَهُ قَوْلِي So grade 1, by the end of this lesson, you will be inshallah able to state some of Allah's creatures on earth, conclude the importance of animals and the plants to man, express my love for the creatures of Allah, glory be to him. So, grade one, are you ready to start? Let's start together. First of all, look at this picture and tell me some names of the creatures you see in the picture. Creatures mean anything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala create. Like what? Who can tell me? Easy. Camel? Yes. What else? Cow, yes, horse, sheep, excellent rabbits, and hens. These are animals. What about tree? Many trees and also birds, grass. All of these are creatures. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala create them. Okay. Where do these creatures live? Where they live? Some of them live in the forest. Some of them in the where? Farm. Why? To find food to eat. To eat grass and another food. Yes. I mentioned other creatures created by Allah. Who can tell me other things created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Any other animal or any other plants? So, anything created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we call them creatures. We call them creatures. And we are Muslims. We love the creatures from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And here is the one. There are two pictures. I want you to observe and conclude. I mention the benefits of animals and the plants that I see in the picture. Now, here there are many animals like camel, horse, sheep, cow, and hens. What are some benefits of these animals? Milk, excellent. What else? Yes, meat, eggs, and clothes. And we use horse and camel in the past. They use it for what? For a transportation to move from one place to another place. Excellent. What would happen if they didn't exist? If there is no animals or plants, there will be no life. Because these animals and the plants are the main source of life for food, for many things. Okay. Animals and the plants are useful for life of whom? Of human. Yes, of us. It's important for our life. And from the other picture, we forgot to say about the plants. Here you can see 
two different trees one or three different trees one for apple one for orange and also here there is a hive from the bee to, to get honey and here banana tree and here let us read together Nora asked her mother what do bees do over the flowers mother said they suck the flowers nectar to make us delicious honey then Nora said who taught the bees how to make honey from the flowers nectar mother said Allah glory be to him did Nora I like flowers because they smell good and I love bees because they make us useful honey mother what about the rest of the animals don't you like them Nora yes I do Allah glory be to him created animals for us to benefit from them so let us answer these questions together what did Allah glory be to him teach bees to do from the previous conversation what did Allah glory be to him teach bees to do to make honey from flowers nectar Allah taught them to make honey from flowers nectar okay why does Nura love honey because honey is useful excellent because it's useful what is the reward of those who take care of animals and treat them kindly what is the reward what they will get from Allah they will get great reward from Allah which is paradise okay what are the benefits of the following animals to man cows what is the benefit of cows to get milk and meat horses to ride the horse and some people use it to travel or move from one place to another place what about sheep to get milk and also not milk sorry meat and also from it we can make what clothes and also alligator from alligator skin we can make clothes or bags or shoes and this is the end of our lesson for today thank you grade one jazakumullahu khayran subhanak allahumma wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa an astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk